Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique baseball bat known as Rockville Slugger. Now acquiring this weapon is nice and simple. All we need to do is head to Diamond City, specifically Diamond City's marketplace. Once here, head to Mo Cronin, the madman wielding a baseball bat. Once you find him, talk to him, click on barter and once the barter tab opens, head across to weapons and down to R. And here will be the Rockville Slugger. As per usual, the price of the weapon will vary depending on your character's current charisma level. As always, before modding it out and looking at the weapon's base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of this weapon. Now there's only two modification slots, and with every other unique baseball bat that we have covered, there is an ultimate modification in both slots. So in the first slot, we want to go with the bladed modification. This adds plus 10 bleed damage and increases the overall damage by 75%. And in the second slot, we want to go with the aluminium body. This increases the damage by 20%. And later on in the video when I'm killing stuff, I've modded it out a completely different way just to get some visual diversity. But if you want to go straight for damage, this is how you do it. So once it has been modded out, the way I just did to get the best damage possible, it has a base ballistic damage of 35, its speed is slow, its weight is 3.9 pounds, and its value is 399 caps. And as we can see up the top there, rock Vil Slugger, minus 40% VATS cost. And before we get into using the weapon, there is something visual we should look at. The Rockville Slugger, along with any baseball bat purchased from Mo Cronin, will be stamped with his special brand. Mo Cronin, trademark swatter, Diamond City. So that is something to take note of if you so wish. But now the Rockville Slugger is a standard baseball bat, except it bears the VATS enhanced effect, or at least one of the variations of the VATS enhanced effect. In this particular case, it reduces action point cost by 40%, which is actually really good. Given that the baseball bat is a slow weapon, it costs more inside of VATS. And although it had a base ballistic damage of 35, once you get your strength to 10, you can get its damage up around 400. So although it does do a lot of damage, and also again doing a lot of damage inside of VATS, because it's slow, it costs more. Well, this legendary effect reducing the AP cost by 40% inside of VATS is a great help. So just as an example, let's say you could get 5 swings out of this this, while using all of your AP inside of VATS, well because of this 40% reduction you will now be able to get 7 swings inside of VATS using all of your AP. Something like that anyway. So that is grand, and given that it has the potential to do such a high damage, the Rockville Slugger would be an excellent choice of weapon for a melee luck VATS crit build. Of course, the more hits inside of VATS, the faster you feel your critical meter, so being able to use VATS more, because you're saving on AP cost per hit, well that can make a big difference especially when you consider crit damage does 2.5 times normal damage, so you'll be smacking them for around 1000 damage per crit hit inside of VATS with this weapon, provided you have all the perks and such. And then that just builds off what I said earlier. More hits inside of VATS, the more crits you're going to fill up. Therefore, the more crits you'll be doing. So although there may be some other weapons in the game that might be superior to this weapon in terms of a VATS crit luck melee build, this one you can get pretty much straight away. Head straight to Diamond City Market, buy it off Mocha, Cronin. I think when I bought it, it cost like 600 caps. So if you can scrounge those together, you have an excellent starting point for your melee build character. So yeah, all in all, a pretty damn good weapon. Pretty much all of the downsides to a baseball bat inside of VATS are kind of counteracted by this 40% reduction in AP cost. So a damn good choice of melee weapon, if you were looking for one. Interestingly, the weapon is named after the city of Rockville, Maryland, where Bethesda's HQ is located. I think that's how you say it, although it's spelt Maryland as I would pronounce it. Apparently it's Merlin, Merlin the Wizard. And also the name Rockville Slugger is a parody of the real life Louisville Slugger, a popular brand of baseball bats made by Hillerick and Bradsby. And the Louisville Slugger is also marketed as the official bat of Major League Baseball. Well, the Rockville Slugger is the official bat of the Wasteland. This video is sponsored by Mo Cronin of Diamond City. So all in all, a pretty damn good weapon, although it is known to be a little bit sluggish. And if you don't know where Rockville is, it's right next to Stonetown. Without firing a single bullet, you can fill your enemy with slugs. There was a prototype before this, it was called the Rockville Snailer. And here it is, the Rockville Slugger in action. <laughs>
there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my walkthrough guide for the unique baseball bat known as the Rockville Slugger. I do hope that this video helped you out in some way and if it did I think you will be very interested in clicking on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If you do enjoy the ball of base, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, the link can also be found in the description or you can search Camelworks on Twitter. With all that said I would like to thank Thank you very much for watching, it has been an absolute pleasure having you here with me and I will see you very shortly in the next video, I'll see you there in a second.